I know what you old guys are thinking. You're thinking, man, where can I get one of those? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Go over to Gary Huston's shop. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and you can buy your own. That's where I got mine. <laughs> And it is so appropriate for me. <laughs> hey, we're going to do something that uh, kind of was a special request-ish. Not really a special request. A lot of people asked me to do this. And I thought it was a great idea. And I'm trying to dig them out of my pocket. There we go. The blocks that I cast, the porosity test that I did. Oh, golly. I think it was probably, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? Something like that? get these things in order here, put them in the right places. So, we had two blocks. We had a block with a B on it, and we had a block with a, I think it goes this way. Yeah. And a block with an A on it. A was the block that I poured in sort of the traditional uh, YouTube-ish sort of manner, and uh, B was a block that I poured the same time, the same material, the same crucible, the same temperature, same everything, same sand that we did uh, in the more sort of counter gravity, um, small tapered sprue, fill from the bottom up, that whole thing. Well, people ask me to cut them in half and look inside. And I really don't have a way of doing that. I, mean, I can cut with a hacksaw, but. I tell you what, I cut up with a hacksaw like a drunken sailor, man. It is just no bueno. <laughs> but John over at uh, Rocking J uh, site, and I'm, John's site is right up here, uh, and I'll link him at the bottom. John volunteered to go ahead and cut these things open, polish them off, and send them back to me. So I sent them to John, and... I want to show you what we got, and we're going to take them a little bit further. We're going to polish them up a little bit more than John did, and just see, and do one more test with them. I think, see if we can see, see if we can see what we can see. So let me, let me show you up close on the bench down here uh, what we got going. All right, so here we go. Um, this is the B block, and I actually drew a line on here for John to um, semi cut around. He, I don't think he cut right on the line, but that's okay. He just he cut them in half. And then he stamped them, as you can see, this was B, and this one is the A block. Now, just looking at these things, as they came from John, unretouched by human hands, <laughs> or whatever the phrase is, uh, we can see a couple of things here. We, uh, everybody noticed the, the, the shrink in the B. Again, the B block was using the small tapered sprue, the pouring basin, the uh, fill from the bottom, then it at the top sort of thing. A is the um, one where we filled from a split mold, large uh, open sprue, large runners, and we vented out the side. So what we first of all we see in here is this is actual holes. These are not pieces of dirt uh, that came in, and the, and the block was poured this direction. The letters, the letters were in the top of the mold, okay? The letters that I put on the surface were on the top. So... This is the top of the mold, this is here, bottom of the mold. Now, you can clearly see, I think you can clearly see the, let me zoom in. Let me just zoom in a little bit here for you. Them over. Yeah. You can see that there's holes here and holes here that bubbles, essentially, that formed at the top of this, of this block. The bottom doesn't look too bad, uh, and then the, this one, Shrinkage, but we don't really see we don't see any of this stuff going on, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with that stuff, and we're going to sand them, and then we're going to go to that stuff, and we're going to sand them, and then we're going to look, and then we may try one more thing that um, people have all no one's recommended. Be it's an old body filler, you know, if you're doing body work on a car, it's an old body filler kind of trick to find your low spot. So we'll do that. So let me find, I gotta find some WD-40, because everybody keeps telling me to use WD-40 when I 
when I sand these things. So we're going to find that and we'll get started. Alrighty, so let's start with, I got my industrial size can of uh, <laughs> WD-40. Actually, let's start with this guy right here. I'm just going to put some on there and we're going to Oh, fascinating. I don't know if you can, you might be able to see that, but a lot of tiny little pores showing up here when I get that, when I started doing that. Be interesting to see what happens on the B block, but uh, I'm going to sand this just a little bit more. We've still got some rough stuff down here. I just want to see if I can get a bigger area that's smooth. And then we're going to go to the 800 grit just to see what happens. All right, I'm going to call that good on this block here, on the on the A block at at 400 grit. I, uh, yeah, it's as close as I can zoom, I guess. But I'm seeing all kinds of porosity there. It's small, but it's definitely there. So let's go ahead and do this large, the large B block and see if we can't get it to polish up a little bit. It's amazing what happens to your sticky paper when you uh, cover it with a uh, WD-40. Cover it with oil, kerosene. <laughs> All right. Can you see it? I'm not seeing any of this stuff in here. All this speckles and freckles, I'm not seeing any of that over here. Maybe something right there, and maybe something right up there. We'll see. Let me go to the, we'll go to the 800 now and see what that does. A block first. Well, I don't know because I can't remember from 15 seconds ago, but that looks to me, put it right in the middle there for you, I think that looks to me like I'm seeing even more porosity showing up down here towards the bottom of the block, but it's clearly throughout when I go to that uh, the 800. Just trying to decide, well let's go to the B block. Let's see if anything shows up when we uh, we go to this finer grid on here. Oh, yeah. We are. I'll sand some more, but I just want to show you real quick. So, I didn't see any of this stuff in here when I was uh, sanding at uh, 400, but at 800 grit, I'm starting to see um, stuff showing up in this guy. Now here's the comparison. I'm gonna sand some more on this one just to see if we can't draw any more out, but uh, you can see the comparison between the two. Lots of big stuff up here on the top, and uh, there's clearly more in the A than the B, but um, fascinating that there's stuff showing up in the B. Now this could be, um, what do they call bifilms because of the fact that that aluminum has probably been melted 25 times uh, and it's just bad aluminum. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's interesting to see there's stuff in there. Oh, 
Okay, here's our two samples again. Let's turn them so you can. And I'll let you judge for yourself. There is clearly stuff in both of them. Uh, this one is definitely worse than that one. I'm going to use some brake cleaner here. I'm going to clean off these parts and then we're going to go ahead and try something probably a little crazy. All right, I mentioned the body filler <laughs> test. So uh, I think this is pretty clear. You can see them pretty good. But what we what we used to do as kids when I did body work that, you know, for myself, we would paint, we would fill, fill it in, we'd paint it, and we'd sand it, and then we'd... Uh, know where the low spots were because the low spots wouldn't sand off. So we're going to try to fill these guys in as best we can with this blue and see if we can get a little bit of a highlighting to show up. And we'll just do a really, really quick pass with the um, sandpaper because it won't take much to knock this blue off. Alright, those are still a little, they're wet to the touch, but maybe they can just, uh, <laughs> maybe I don't have to sand, maybe I can just wipe. Let's see what happens here. That's kind of gummy. I'm going to go ahead and sand it. I said this shouldn't take much because I'm just knocking off that magic marker. All right. We'll see if that showed any more than uh, what we've already seen. And I don't think it does, but I think this is pretty good. Uh, I'm really shocked to see how much small stuff is showing up inside there. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. But I think you'd all have to agree this guy is the winner as far as porosity. So, so. Again, so, so, so. <laughs> what does all this mean? Well, it means that if you want to reduce porosity in your pores, I'm telling you, B is the way to go. If you think that dumping table salt and borax and who knows what else in your aluminum is going to get rid of this kind of stuff, my last video, and I'm going to link it at the end here, I'll point to it, I'll point it out, but pretty much prove that uh, this is where the porosity is coming in for our stuff guys not this one although fascinating that there is stuff in here too and I think that's because my metal is just plain crap but that'll be our secret <laughs> so I want to I want to give another shout out to John let's see if I go over here uh, I'll link John's um, John Brock is his name, Flying J, no, Rocking J, Rocking J Metalworks is his site. We'll put it right up there. If you want to see how I poured these guys, we're going to put that right down there. And right here, right there, if you want to subscribe. All right, you guys have a great day.